Hello everyone, welcome back to Ether 1. Okay, let's take a look at the third core memory here at Pinwheel Industrial. What the hell happened here? The police were here? This was a crime scene? That can't be good. I'm trying to remember exactly what happened in the, what happened in the last memory. Oh, I can't quite remember. I should maybe revisit it. Someone fell, or maybe they were pushed. If no one suspected foul play, would it be standard procedure to actually send in the police and declare this a crime scene? I don't think so. That would only happen if foul play was suspected, right? Not entirely sure how that works. Okay, I'm still missing something. Is it this right here? It's all lit up, even though I don't actually see anything here. I think I missed something downstairs. I think it's just this light bleeding through. That is a... percolator, I think? Old school. Okay, so somebody's sleeping. There's some alcohol up there. Maybe they were drunk. Looks like somebody made coffee. At some point, somebody fell or was pushed down these stairs, died, and this was declared a crime scene. You know, at some point, I should probably revisit these and just play them, play them in order. Because it's been long enough that I, I don't exactly remember what happened in the previous ones. Okay. Use your artifacts if you're restoring and destroy it. 
All right. Let's do this. I'm cleaning up the bad growths inside of her head. Sort of metaphorically and also kind of literally doing it. I don't know, it's very cool though. seem a bit strange, doesn't it? I mean, why did I appear here? What made me appear here? Even my... my handler, or whatever you would call her, didn't expect me to actually be here. She was just as confused as I. This is the very beginning. Yeah, it's the very beginning. I'm still really suspicious. Okay. So the source of all of this is, according to her at least, this artifact that I saw at the very beginning of the game. But again, I'm still really suspicious about what's going on. I see no pressing need to destroy it, so I'm gonna keep walking. I could put in a name there. I'm guessing just like the other puzzles where you enter in something to complete it, if I entered in the right thing, something would happen. Uh, maybe a door would open? I don't know. Question is, what's the right name? Would it be Jean's name, maybe? I'm not sure who that sign-in sheet's for. Is it for patience? Is it for... Please say? No, it just says appointments. Hmm. Alright, well, I think everything's is locked. That? It is. Oh, for God's sake. And you're on time, too. Just one second. What the hell is going on? I think. Oh, we're back here. I thought that would have... 
equipment. Wait, this isn't right. Scorpio, destroy it any way you can. What the hell? Oh, I just realized I can't even go back to my my case, my safe place. I can't think of what I put here. I mean, even if I have the information on hand back in my case or whatever, I can't. I don't remember anything well enough. I'd have to go back and look through notes. Like, I don't even remember her last name. Jean... Jean what? I, I don't remember. Alright. Let's do this. Marvelous job. We really couldn't have done this without you. All that remains to be done is. <gasps> Did you see that? My readings. Oh god, this again. There I look what what's behind me. Right. A few things before we project. It's this room again. After I restore stuff, this is the room I go to, but now everything's all bare. It's like everything's been stripped out of the stripped out of this room. What happened to it? That's the place I keep visiting in the core memories. God, I'm kind of worried that the more I stare at this, the greater the chance of, like, some evil little girl suddenly popping up and reaching out of the TV to grab me. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's nothing but a single solitary tape. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh yeah, perfectly normal. I think this door just opened. Ooh, I think this will take me back to my case. Looks like the doorway. 
Oh, well, maybe not. Now where am I? open as always. Make sure I remember that I've been here. From Thomas. That was the man that was just talking. Dr. Foster visited again today and was here for hours. She and my dad sat in the bedroom talking and I wasn't allowed in so I went outside and played with Jean in her garden. We created a den and called it our castle. When Dr. Foster left, I went back in and saw that Dad was pale. I made bacon and eggs for dinner. Thomas. We created a den and called it our castle. Hold on. Hold on. The den. Are those those... Like... Little... Pillow fort esque things. I mean, they're not really made out of pillars. They're more made out of boxes and whatnot. But are those those things that I keep seeing around? I've seen them multiple times. One with cardboard on the bottom, and there's like some shoes in there, and like a suitcase and stuff. We created a den. Hmm. There's got to be a connection. There, I'm just not sure how all of this ties together. So, I believe Thomas was with Jean? Husband and wife? Or maybe really good friends? Or brother and sister? He said, he said I went outside and played with Jean rather than I played with my sister Jean. Or something like that. Oh, is this the house? Yeah, now I'm upstairs in this house. And there's a suitcase, which was in the den, or whatever you want to call it. Along with some cardboard and some shoes. <laughs> More massive books. They're so big. Oh yeah, there's a clock with the messed up times again. Um, somebody told me actually something very interesting about this that I didn't know at all. I don't think I've explained this before. I hope I haven't. Or maybe I'm losing my own mind. Oh no. Uh, but anyway, yeah, somebody... No, wait, didn't I explain that? Now I can't quite remember. God, I think I am losing my own mind. Hmm. I I'm pretty sure I did. Not quite sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. And if I haven't, you're probably very confused, wondering, Oh god, what was it? But I'm pretty sure I did. Hmm? What 
what is up with this est thing? What does it even mean, est? Okay, hold on, I have it written down. Um, okay, so the one I have written down that I saw on the building in the harbor area where you start. On Bell's building. And also it was at the bottom of every trash can for some bizarre reason. Um, what that one said was est1845. And now this one says est1918. What does that mean? What does est mean? Is that like Latin or something? Does it just mean estimated? That seems doubtful. Support. Chris. I know things have been tough since she left, but you need to get a grip, man. If not for your sake, then for your boys. The lad already has the world on his shoulders, and he doesn't need to be your carer as well. Leave the crow's nest alone for a while. Rest up. Spend some time with Thomas. If you wanted, we could all go and do something together. My family and yours. We've been friends for a long time, and I hate to see you like this. Let me know. George. So the lad would seem to be Thomas, so Thomas was quite young at this point, and I was hearing when I was hearing Thomas's voice, he was obviously quite old. So this is from when he was a kid. Let's take a look outside. I apologize for what just happened, and for what we've done, but I did tell you to be gentle in there. There's no use blaming each other, though. It's clearly no one's fault. I just hope you're okay. And now that you have the artifact, ready to press on. Our goal hasn't changed, and we best move along. Okay, so I've finally gotten to the last area. Yeah, now I can finally go back. And the last area is here. Yep, I'm already there. Let's get a quick look at this place. Get a feel for it. I don't actually want to tackle it yet. I want to go back and do the other puzzles that I've been missing. Okay, I think this is going to take me to that wooded area. Next to the river, I think. Yeah, okay. Alright, getting a feel for the layout. I think there's another entrance to get to the village as well. From maybe the industrial place? Yeah, it was from the industrial place. There might even be more entrances for all I know. God, this place is huge. You can go in all of these buildings. It's amazing. Well, I mean, I'm sure some of them you can't. Like this one. I'm pretty sure if it doesn't have a doorknob, that means you can't go in. Yeah. But most of them you can go into. It's just so huge. It's awesome. Field Cider. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I bet those are some delicious apples. Mmm. I want one. Come here.
Ooh, pretty stained glass. At least we don't have to go all the way up there. Some memories are buried deep inside and can never be forgotten. The ringing of the church bells could be heard for miles around. Weddings, funerals, or the call to Sunday service. Different occasions calling for a different melody. Good to keep that in mind. Also, this is what it says on that. What the mind thinks, the heart transmits. I'm guessing that's where it came from, the church. Embedded deep in her memory. Oh, even the light on the ground is multicolored. Look at that. That's really cool. Ooh. Okay, those obviously mean something. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. So I don't know if this, you know, if if I complete the main quest, the main story, and at the moment I'm three-fourths through it, I've got three of, yeah, three of these shelves full of ribbons are completely full, I've just got this one left to do at Pinwheel Village. So I'm most of the way through the story, but the thing is, I don't know whether I can complete the main story and then go back and do the other puzzles. I'm guessing I can't, but I don't actually know. So, just to be careful, and because I really do want to solve these puzzles, I'm going to try to get all of them done before I actually finish the game. Or at least most of them. And I'm really curious, what the hell is down here? In this? What is in here? And how in the heck am I going to find the code? So yes, I'm going to go back and try to restore projectors. And it's going to involve lots of cutting, because I don't even really know where to start. I could go back to the harbor. In fact, I suppose I will. It is possible that the stuff I need to solve this puzzle is only available in maybe the last village. But I doubt it. I, I feel like it's fairly self-contained. So, yeah, I'm just going to take a look around here, keep looking around, and see if I can find some way to make some progress on these projectors. So, I will return. What the heck is this? I think I might have just found something for the blacksmith. M maybe? Hold on. I'm guessing it's supposed to be all the way down. What was that, three turns? Hmm? Maybe, I, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Let's see if it does anything. Can oh. be painted into our lives. Oh. What? It looked like it wasn't working, but okay, it got wrapped around it. That did for some reason that opened up the floor. I don't know why, but I will take it, thank you. I thought I needed a key to get in here. Okay. Right, so this thing's broken. Mm, how's the fuse? It's perfectly fine. Just need to fix this, and I believe I have the part for that. I got it a long time ago. Yeah, it's this thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And it looks like that's going to power these. <laughs> question is, what are these? Before activating the things that may or may not be explosive, let's read everything around here. Mechanical engineering, I already have one of those. I guess I'll take another. I 
I'm seriously wondering if it's possible to run out of room. I think it is. Possible to run out of room on your shelves. Especially if you took every cup, like cup and plate that you could find. Actually, I don't think you can pick up plates, can you? Well, you could pick up at least one early on in the game that had a password on it. But not general plates. Anyway. Experimental. Note to self. I must ask the blacksmith to make me a connector for the broken cable. I'd hoped to have finished my test by now, and I fear that even when the power is back on that the lamp still won't function correctly. Either way, I must try. I already have another experiment lined up using sound, and I'm eager, eager to press on. Ooh, one part left, and obviously the last part is simply to activate this. Boom! Sometimes we find old ones. We forgot we were even there. Well, good job, Belle. They seem to work. Key was in the other side, of course. I wonder if I could have seen it if I crouched down. Mm, it doesn't seem like you can actually see through the keyhole. That would have been funny, though. Okay, so for this beginning area, what does that leave me? Ah, oh, right, the f <laughs> the Mayday Ankle Bells, which appear to be the bane of my existence. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to try to figure that one out. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I think I am figuring one out. Yep. You see, there's this little arm thing up there, and I figured out how to operate that. Um, that was always working, I just didn't understand how the control panel worked. But then I realized it, it keeps trying to pick up something from here to drop into those chutes. But the problem is there's something to actually pick up. So then I looked over here and I realized, oh, well. I remember getting some stuff in in these uh, in these carts. So I'm thinking, alright, I've gotten stuff in the carts, and I know I've moved the carts somehow by banging on pipes. But the carts aren't actually here. So then I was thinking, oh, maybe I need to keep banging the pipes in certain places to kind of like inch it along, uh, inch it along, you know? Bang the pipes at one point and then it moves along a bit further and then you go to the next point. And that's what I just did. I just did the receive from Brimcliff Mine, 211. And I just received it. Now it's time to grab it and put it in these chutes. I'm just not exactly sure what chute. It, maybe it's all of them, I don't know. Let's find out. Discoveries. It feels so good when you make discoveries, doesn't it? Very satisfying. Okay, so the question is, where do I put the stuff? I don't know. Let's get some, though. Once you've sifted through all the trials that life throws your way, you can focus on what brought you together. Let's try number five, because it's front and center, and it looks like it's staring at me with its fiveness. So how you operate this thing is you press this button for which one you want it to go to and then you pull this lever and it will actually go to it. Theoretically, that's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> that's what happened before. I don't know why it's not working. Hello? There we go. Come on. Beautiful. Mm, but nothing happened. 
so I don't think that's the right one. Let's try number six. Okay, once again it didn't work. There we go. And once again, the wrong one. <laughs> I have no idea which one it's supposed to go into. Seems like I have to press it twice every time. Weird. Maybe he just needs to go into all of them. I'm starting to worry that I'm not doing this right. Okay, that leaves one. Come on. Come on. Don't let me down. I want to actually make some progress. Ooh, it actually worked the first time. It must be an omen. A good omen. Please? Fuck. Alright, what am I missing? Hmm. 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 What's wrong? I'm a sad panda. Okay, so the shoots are going into these thingamabobbers. This one's a spinning. I wonder if it like raises this number or something. Hmm. I remember I saw at least one that was not spinning. Let's see if they're all the same number. They're actually not. That one's 105. No, it's 75. 70. Ninety. Okay, they're all different. Eighty-five. And eighty-five. Wait, 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 wait a minute. This one doesn't even have one. Uh, that might be a problem. <laughs> Just maybe. Okay. So, I have a hypothesis. And that is that whatever I put into these vats of somethingness, whatever, I don't even I don't even know what this liquid is or what these are supposed to do, but anyway, whatever I put into them is going to change this number. So let's start with this one. Number four, front left, is 70. Let's test that hypothesis. about to run away without pressing the release button. Seventy, 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 seventy. It didn't move? Okay. I only need one more part. 
<sighs> well, I'm gonna have to think about this. I'll be right back. Did I just put poison in the coffee maker? I think I might have. D did I just... Is that what I did? The arsenic vial? I used up something. I I'm pretty sure it was, and I don't seem to have it in my inventory anymore. So I think that's a yes? What did it do, though? It didn't seem to have changed anything. It, it doesn't seem to have changed anything, rather, to be grammatically correct. I'm not sure if that's what I actually did. There's no feedback whatsoever. I mean, it does kind of make sense, because the coffee maker mentions using the cleaning granules, and, you know, the poison is also... It also seems to be in granular form. But... What do I do with the coffee? I assume I have to put it on somebody's desk. It's weird, though. If I actually just made progress, shouldn't that have been a step that was recorded in, in my progress? Or something? I didn't think you'd be like that. Oh god, I think that actually just worked, didn't it? So, it did, yeah, that did it. So am I only recreating things that actually happened? In other words, did she actually poison someone? Or someone poison? I believe that's the warden's office. That actually happened? Why? Okay, and yeah, in case it wasn't obvious, I, uh, I couldn't figure out the ore tramming thing. Which is why I moved on to this puzzle. But now I'm afraid it's the only one left. Let me make sure of that. Well, okay, there's still the victory shaft, but yeah, I definitely have to do the ore tramming before I can do the victory shaft, I think. Hmm. I'm just missing one part. Once you've sifted through all the trials that life throws your way, you can focus on what brought you together. Love. Pure and simple. The lines on our faces may have changed, but our love remains as strong as the day we met. So I've got the Ortram Claw thing working. I've got that all set up. I know how to use it. I can pick up the arsenic or whatever the hell it is. But there's one final step I'm missing. And I'm not sure what that is. So I'm going to keep thinking about it. <sighs> I just do not get this puzzle. I don't get it. I'm missing one part. I've got the arsenic. I've got that thing working. I know how to use it. I can put it in any one of these if I want to. I know that all of these have different uh, 
kilograms? I guess this is measuring... Ki I don't know. Whatever that's measuring. All these have different measurements. However, when I put more um, arsenic in them, it doesn't seem to change the measurements, so I can't see how that's relevant. Some of them are spinning. All the front ones are spinning. However, some of the back ones... Uh, this one is not spinning. I don't know why. Even if I put... Even if I put arsenic inside of it, it doesn't change the reading or make it spin. And this one doesn't even have anything. It just... <laughs> It goes nowhere. So I don't know what to do about that. And every time I try to put arsenic in one of these things, there's a slight sound that happens. That sounds kind of like a... I don't know, it's kind of like an electrical short, if you will. Almost like I'm doing something wrong. So, here's what that sounds like. Have a listen. You hear that? I don't know what that means. Like, is there something, some thing that I need to turn on to get this to work properly? I don't know, I've tried to interact with these mixer things. I can't seem to do anything with them whatsoever. I even looked at this. Which lists four different shoots. Three, five, six, and one. And I tried doing them in order, but it didn't work. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. I just got a new idea. Okay, so I tried all of these in order, 3, 5, 6, and 1. However, I just realized there isn't even anything listed for number 3. And number 3 is the one in the back on the right that doesn't even have anything. So maybe I should try them in order, but don't do the first one. So just 5, 6, 1. I'm going to try that. I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just figured it out. I was making this way more complicated than it needed to be. I didn't realize that I could interact with this. this. These empty spaces. I need to fill them in. Well, shit. That makes it easier. Okay. So, I was looking around, and I realized that these weights listed here, like, look, number six. I'm just using the mouse now because it's way quicker. Uh, so, for number six here, for Chris R, it's 104 is the weight. This is number six right here. It's already on number four. Uh, 104, I mean. And the other one is already accurate, too. So I think what I need to do is simply match this. So for number 5, I need to match the weight. So number 5 is... 75. Now I need the name for shoot number 3. And I have that here. It is Nick B. Is that a period? The lines on our yep. faces may have changed. And now that I'm holding the mouse in my hands right now and using the keyboard and mouse, I just want to celebrate my brief 10 seconds of freedom before I go back to the solitary confines of the controller. Oh my god, look at this. I actually have good control. I can look there, and I can look there, and I can zoom in. Oh my god, it's so much better. <gasps> oh. It's okay. I'm using the controller to train for Dark Souls 2. It's all going to be worth it. Right? Right? Back to the controller. <laughs> I don't want to go back. <sighs> it's such a shame. Conditions such as this can have such devastating effects on the lives of so many. But they seem to have enjoyed each other's company to the fullest whenever possible. And that's an inspiring thought. Okay, so that is the last one before the victory shaft. Which means... 
I can finish the song. Are you wondering what the hell I'm talking about? I'll show you in just a second when I can figure out how the hell to get out of here. This place really needs some signs that say, like, exit. Here, this goes up. Yeah. This has got to be the right way. Mm-hmm. Sorry for asking, but I thought I'd left them there. Right, so I've got three parts of the song already down. Just need the fourth part. Watch, well, I mean, it's actually not really a song, is it? It's just a... Actually, no, it is. It's a chord. I was going to say it's a note, but no, it's a bunch of different notes. A bunch of different notes sounding at the same time. Which is precisely what a chord is. Okay, let's activate this one. Now, what is this one going to be? Alright, so I've got... Three? Um... I've got three, seven, and ten, so the next one's going to be... Where is it? I think it's just twelve, is the next one. Yeah, I think so. Such a lonely Missing someone I'm wondering if they Beautiful. Water is a flowin'. And just like I thought, that does play into the Victory Shaft puzzle, which has you noting where, what, water pressure is highest, I think? Let me just ensure that's what that actually was. Yeah, pressure points. So, how would I find that out? I'm guessing I need to go check the pipes. I wonder if I could... Just... Uh, no. <laughs> I had a hypothesis, which may still be true, but I don't have the patience to uh, attempt it. So yes, I'm guessing I just need to go check the pipes, the ones that say D11 and C3 and all of that. And... Maybe I'll notice water pressure... somehow? I'm not really sure how I could visually tell water pressure. Do they have readouts? Do you think it's safe? It's so tall. Let me go check one. Like this. All right here's J4. Hmm. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. But anyway, I've been playing for quite long enough. I've almost been playing for two hours. Although, I've spent so much time trying to figure out these puzzles, I'm probably going to cut it down to about one. But, I've made some pretty good progress. So I unlocked... Actually, I didn't unlock, I already I unlocked, I see but... Where this is going. I explored the third core memory. Did that, and also solved, I believe, three projectors? Or was it two? I think... I want to say three. Right? Wasn't it three? Because I did the blacksmith and... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was three. It was two or three. Anyway, some pretty good progress, I think. Pretty happy with how this is going. Shouldn't take too long to get caught up. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.